Hey YouTube, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. Welcome back to another exciting video. And in this video, we are going to talk about Flutter. And actually, it's not an explanation video. It's more like a video where I will see us some steps that were involved in me coding an application that I coded for myself. But I thought that it will be better to share that with you guys. So before we get started, let's roll the intro. install the sqlite plugin and path provider now all that i have to do is to change these fields and i will keep them as id uh, a type then a user and a password So I have this very basic dialog for entering data. I'll just select the account type, then the username or email and the password and I'll click on this add button. If all these fields are not empty, then we can actually add some data in the database. So let's see our database 2 is here up and ready. I have created some certain fields like we have this ID, the type, the user and the password. So I have to simply just call this method that's an insert with all the values and it will insert the data for me. Okay, so the last time we ran the application, I just forgot that there is a possibility that the row cannot contain any data. But now I just solved this. So basically, when you will first install the application, it will just say that no data is available. And you can click on this add button to enter some data. The type should actually be the, um, you know, the type of uh, data that you want to enter. It's not a type of data, it's the type of website. Let's say I want to save some data for GitLab that I can just write GitLab and the username will be the username that I have to save. So I'll just type username. And the password is the password for that website. That could be anything. If I click on the add button, it will add this data as you can see. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's pretty amazing, right? Okay, I, I said, wait, am I just not showing the type of the data? Like really? Let me fix that first. So 
so the last time i just forgot to show this type 2 but now that i have added it let's just try to put some data so let's just select the type let's put the type to github and the username to dc programmer and the password to password yeah don't worry this is not my username and password so you should not waste your time trying to do that if i click on the add button you can see that now i have a github there i have the username and the password if i just enter some more data let's say youtube some data and some password i click on the add button and here we have another data so yeah this is the application and i mean it's kind of working for me i won't say that it's too fancy but still it's kind of a decent application i can use this to store my data uh, usually my password and then i can just use them whenever i have to use it so yeah that's pretty much it from my side in this video if you like the video do let me know and also if you want a detailed explanation that do let me know that too and i'll catch you in the next video talking more about flutter coding and whatnot